It was in this operating room at the OU Medical Center in Oklahoma City where Dr. Brent Brown became the first in Oklahoma to perform bronchial thermoplasty. The patient, 68-year-old Robert Stumpke, hoped the procedure would allow him to overcome severe asthma and begin living life more fully again. The Newkirk, Oklahoma man's asthma symptoms had worsened despite medication, sidelining his passion for hiking, running, and mountain climbing. I had uh, pretty much given up. Uh, I didn't know whether I was ever going to cl climb again. During the procedure, a long, flexible, camera-equipped tube called a bronchoscope is inserted into the small airways of the lungs. Once in place, Dr. Brown is able to deliver radio frequency energy to the wall of the airway, heating it up to about 150 degrees for about 10 seconds. We like to point out that's about the temperature of a hot cup of coffee. And so it's not hot enough to actually burn the inside of the tissues of the airway. It is hot enough to reduce the amount of airway wall muscle, which decreases the tendency for the airway to narrow during an asthma attack. For Stumpke, the procedure has been life-changing. He is back to running and climbing. Now I'm, I'm back to running two miles. I was able to climb this summer a 13,000-foot peak in around Lake City, Lake Cri uh, Crystal Peak. Stumpke still takes some asthma control medications, but his daily requirements are greatly reduced since undergoing bronchial thermoplasty. I've been very pleased with, with uh, Robert's progress with his asthma control since then. Now Stumpke is back in step and looking for more peaks to summit. This is Teresa Green reporting.